change on ground despite these visits and the symbolism that has been made. Even when it comes to Hindu households in the latest update, a was set ablaze in Dinajpur and also in Thakur Gao. What is being said as per inputs, neither police nor the army came to the rescue and the locals had to battle the blaze themselves. Now, this is through sources what we are learning as far as yet another incident that has been reported where Hindus in particular, minorities in particular that are being targeted and this is coming in from different parts of uh, Bangladesh as far as Hindu homes that have been burnt, they have been attacked, the locals who have been attacked, they have been forced to flee and this is despite the assurance as we have heard. Day one, ever since the Indian media has started reporting about these incidents, what's happening in Bangladesh, we have seen that there had been more than 200 attacks and almost in all the 52 districts of Bangladesh. But Bangladesh government, as well as uh, the people there and many of those left liberals, they had been completely in a denial mode. They were trying to justify all these acts of violence against Hindus by saying that only those people have been targeted who are affiliated with Awami League Party, that is the one that was headed by Sheikh Hasina. But now you look at those visuals, I think visuals tell the story, the whole story, narrate the whole story, what really is happening in uh, Bangladesh. But now I think the world too has woken up to the reality initially. They, nobody was taking it seriously, calling it a fake propaganda. But now they too have realized that what really is happening with the Hindus.